Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be swatching out and comparing all my lemon yellows. As you can see, I have quite a few here as I'm including the cadmium lemons too. Now lemon yellow is a pigment that I don't tend to use all that often, but I do like to have it available to me in my palette on the rare occasions that I do need it. I mean, sometimes I need that touch of bright yellow or a bright green that, you know, I can't get from other pigments on my palette. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. So here we have Rembrandt Cadmium Yellow Lemon. And this one's made from PY35. So this is the lemon yellow that I usually keep on my palette. Um, and honestly, I love it. Anytime I've tried a different lemon yellow, I've always been disappointed that it's not as nice as this one. I mean, this Rembrandt to me just looks so clean and lemony, I guess. I've heard negative things, especially when I started painting about cadmium pigments saying I should avoid them because they're, you know, opaque and they don't mix well with other pigments. I mean, yeah, it is opaque, but... It's great for what I want to use it for. Okay, now onto the second cadmium. This one is White Knight's Cadmium Lemon, and it's also PY35. So this is one is pretty new to me. Um, yeah, it looks very nice. I think it might be a tiny bit warmer than the Rembrandt but it's still a lovely lemon yellow. I'm really quite impressed with the White Knight's pans I've tried so far. I mean, they re wet really easily and yeah, they're great value too, especially for these cadmium colors, you know, they can be pretty pricey in most brands. Yeah, this one looks really nice. It might be a little bit more opaque than the Rembrandt, but we'll have to see if that's still the case when it's dry. Okay, now on to cadmium number three. This one is Windsor & Newton Professional Cadmium Lemon, and it's also PY35. Okay, so right away I can see this one is warmer than the previous two. Oh, it is such a bright, clean lemon yellow, though. Yeah, and it's just beautiful to paint out like all Windsor & Newton paints. It almost looks like a mid-yellow to me. I think that's mostly because it's painted alongside the previous two, which are so green-leaning. Okay, now the final cadmium. This one is Roman Schmal Cadmium Lemon. And again, it's PY35. So this is another new paint to me. And first impressions, I'd say I'm very impressed. This could possibly be one to challenge the Rembrandt as my favorite. Yeah, we'll see about that. Again, it's really bright and clean. It's so nice. Could possibly be a bit more opaque than the previous three, though. I mean, that might change when it dries. We'll have to see. Okay, next we have Magello Mission Gold Lemon Yellow. And this one is made from PY3. I've said in the past when I've swatched this pigment uh, that it has questionable light fastness. So if you do plan on getting it, you should really perform your own light fastness tests. I mean, that being said, it is a very beautiful pigment. It's a little opaque maybe, but yeah, it's very bright, highly saturated. 
yeah, it's very nice. Uh, next we have Schmincke Horadam Lemon Yellow. And this one is also PY3. So everything I just said about the Mugello applies to this paint also. Um, it's always a good idea to perform a light fastness test on all your paints really, no matter what pigments you use, especially if you intend on selling your work or putting it up on the wall for display. At least then you won't get any you know, nasty surprises when your paintings fade. So even though this Schmincke Lemon Yellow is the same pigment as the Magello, it is it's pretty different. Um, it, it's a bit cooler and you know more delicate. I mean, the Magello is kind of like a in your face with its brightness, whereas the Schmincke is a bit more subtle and subdued. Uh, next up is Windsor Newton Professional Windsor Lemon. Uh, this is made from PY175. I've liked this PY175 pigment when I swatched it in the past. Um, to me, it seems every bit as nice as a PY3, but more light fast. I guess it might be slightly warmer than the PY3. Um, and of course, it's quite a lot warmer than the cadmiums. Yeah, it's a very beautiful, bright, highly pigmented lemon yellow though. And next we have Daniel Smith Lemon Yellow. This one is also PY175. So this one does seem very similar to the Windsor Lemon to me. Um, possibly a little brighter, at least when it's wet it is. Yeah, again, it's a very nice Lemon Yellow. And of course it paints out beautifully. Yeah, I definitely prefer this pigment to a PY3. And now we have the last of the PY175s. This one is Holbein Imidazolone Lemon. So this is the first PY175 I ever tried. Um, I actually made a video about it a few months back. Yeah, I still absolutely love it. It's um, it's very similar to the Windsor Newton, actually. Um, though, yeah, again, it might be a tiny bit brighter. Yeah, this is probably my favorite non-cadmium lemon yellow. I actually think about replacing my usual Rembrandt with this one, simply because it's much cheaper. And finally, we have a student grade paint. It's Van Gogh Permanent Lemon Yellow. And this one is made from PY184. So PY184 is often called bismuth yellow. Um, it's a very nice pigment, but it can be quite opaque. I've read that this pigment can almost mimic a cadmium in hue and texture. Um, maybe an artist grade version can, but this Van Gogh is nowhere near as bright or as clean as any of the cadmiums here. Of course, it is a fraction of the price, so it could be a great option if you're on a budget. Okay, and here they all are when dry. Yeah, they all look great to me. Um, I'd say the Van Gogh is... Clearly the weakest, but you would expect that as it is a student grade paint, of course. The Magello is a, a bit strange. It actually looks more opaque than the cadmiums. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, the cadmiums are all beautiful, in my opinion. Um, I'd say the Rembrandt is still my favorite, but the Roman Jamal is very close. The Windsor & Newton Cadmium Lemon is, yeah, it's, it's also wonderful, but it's a bit warmer than I would like. Uh, the Schmincke PY3 is nicer than the Magello, but I much prefer a PY175. 
And I like all three of these. I mean, they're pretty similar. But if I had to pick one, it would be the Holbein, as it's much cheaper. Well, at least here in Asia, it's much cheaper. So there you go. That's 10 lemon yellows. Which is your favorite? And are there any other brands or lemon yellow pigments you think I should try? Let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.